armor piercing anti large poison magic attacks. <laughs> well, with a ranged attack that they use as they close it, they have like a skirmisher volley and then charge. Tools of judgment ready. Giga nice. It'd be real scary if you had more than one of them. Yeah, I think I'm out of things to do this turn. Oh, wait. Hold on. My hero is... Uh, I, I, I legitimately think that Space Goon put his armies in the water just to run from my hero. I mean... All right. <laughs> I'm turning my Giga hero around and running him over here. You can just tell me what needs to die. This man will stab it. I mean, we, can, we can still do hero actions in the water, so I don't see the issue. I just... Like, it would take me a turn to put into the water, and by the time I get out there, he'll be out of reach. Oh, okay. I'll just wait for him on shore. He's got to come to shore sooner or later, right? They will blister and burn. Well, there's, there's six heroes to wound, so... Or five heroes to wound. So I'm, I'm going to get started early. <laughs> you chasing him out into the water? Yes, sir. All right. I also killed uh, Mitch's hero that was sitting out here in the water. I assume it was there to provide vision. Chad, if I don't oh, collect taxes from this city, I'm wondering if it will not rebellion next turn. Okay, next turn I finish this paved road at Karak Izor, which s speeds up my global recruit. So Marcus should be able to very quickly pull uh, pretty decent armies to himself right outside Athaloran. It will still? Okay. <sighs> then I might as well take the income. They can pay their taxes. I want this guy to get back to running around, but she gonna be a problem. She's coming over again. If she hits here, then with so the garrison, really I think I can only recruit crushers, nothing else. Oh, I I don't know that I'd go that far. Maybe an artillery piece or two could be handy or whatever. But uh, they they definitely have the edge against like most like nearly every unit in that um okay. in in that uh, matchup. Mor I, uh, Morn Fangs also perform really well. So, and they're much cheaper. You could maybe get like two, you know, 1.5 Morn Fangs instead of uh, one Crusher for the same amount of money. Hey, so I have way less vision than you guys, but in the Fog of War, I see a red swirl with a green diamond on its head. I'm guessing that's uh, Slanish Lord with all his artifacts. Yep, that is yep. Inkari. Yeah, it's Inkari with both the crown and the sword. Does the crown do anything I should know about other than stronger? Uh, not really. It just makes him a problem. It, it gives him AOE damage around himself, and then Kari already heals every time something around him dies. He's got this, like, passive self-heal, so that the crown killing things around him will make him constantly self-heal. But he will still eventually hit the regen cap. We can kill him. Uh, oh, yes. it, it just means don't send infantry blobs near him. He'll literally just feed on them. We have to attack him with large units or range. I just got the skill point in my fire bellies tree that gives another 10% chance to wound. I have also entered Giga Hero status. Very nice. Okay, I'm with my turn. Well, that's a good question. I was pretty close to being able to confederate Carl Franz as well. I should go check and see. Carl's done like his last three cities. How many? How many can you can you? Oh, what are the teams? Um, Mukluk is me. Bombjus and Fairlight are our team. So Bombjus is the ogres, and Fairlight is this huntsman guy. Uh, he started down here. The enemy team is Lexi. Who's playing a faction I don't know much about. I know she's got bear cavalry, if that helps. Um, Space Goon, which is uh, Tomb Kings. 
Mitch and Space Goon are what and trading units or Mitch something? Mitch is the biggest problem. Mitch is Slanish and has if it's taking this long, it's the gotta crown be like trading a city or and something. also the sword of Cain. And his hero is a big problem. And he has this whole island. And he's got cults popping up all over the place. All these pink and purple things are, are him. Morgur, no! Where's Morgur? Uh, Slanet, Slanikar just killed him, which is really bad, because I'm pretty sure his trade's missile resistance. I can confed Carl right now. I'm doing it. Who's Carl? Oh, the Emperor, Carl Franz. <laughs> Listen, the I know the character. Emperor of Mankind, main... I don't know Carl. The main character of the game? <laughs> I mean, yo, shit, if you can go over a recruit and get up to... <laughs> Gislo! <laughs> You got, you got, two, you got a Listen, stack He's a main out. character. I've played like 10 factions. None of them have ever mentioned a Carl. All right, I got Carl. Good news and bad news. Bad news is his army is trash. The good news is he's level 30. What a beast. Holy cow. He's level 30 and the AI did all of his yellow line was not stupid they got a lot of his best skills they didn't take imperial special forces which would have been nice um i mean you're what four turns away from kislev at force march yeah but i mean since we agreed earlier to not backdoor each other's eco oh uh, okay i uh with mitch i don't think it would be wise for me to go after lexi that wouldn't really be kosher also if i did start attacking uh lexi's eco there's nothing stopping him from spawning armies out of all of his cults and like starting to hit Mux economy oh, again. Oh my goodness. And I don't want to deal with that can of worms. So I'm just going to bring them down and fight in Britannia as we were the planning on. It. True. Do you want to just, um, do you think it's worth to respect him with his army's trash? Or do you think you can, <laughs> you can fight that Slanesh army on your way down? Because there's a What's 20 second army. Slanesh. Oh yeah, there is. I can't see what's in it, so it's hard to say. The cultist is Hope level like biscuits. 10 plus. The hero is not level 10 yet. We don't have any battles yet, but so, we got biscuits. The Lord's level 9. Does have max wins, though. It's kind of scary. And you don't have a mage. I do have all my regiments of renown available. I've barely used any. I could give Carl, like... He doesn't want pets right now. A Hellblaster volley gun war wagon. Potato yeah. King, I can Lad's do that. Lad's coming south, by the way. Just FYI. I don't, I don't want to trade him like Steingart for a peace treaty or something. Kind of want to just kill him for XP. Ship is rampaging and destroying the battlefield. <laughs> Delights without boundaries. Well, I got Norden. Throg is definitely going to attack me. <laughs> you think if I offer Norden to Lexi for a, for a peace treaty? Oh, I can suddenly see one of Lexi's armies up north. All right, I'm going to go talk to them for a second. Additional building required ziggurat of the old ones. Oh my god, what is that? Dude, I did it again. 
What is a ziggurat of the old ones? I thought Ooh, I, I had got Wolfenberg, which has a gold mine in it. <laughs> Granted, the city's probably not going to last long, but I mean, you know, for every turn that it survives, that's 200 gold. I cannot find this thing. I need to build something called Ziggurat of the Old Ones to be able to make these giant murder dinosaurs. Wait, it's up there. What? It's tier five. Dude, I just realized I got trolled by my own tech tree. Yeah. At tier four, Maybe. I can make Ancient Stegodon Engine of the Gods. And I've been trying to get to this for a while now. And now it says, yeah. additional building required, Ziggurat of the Old Ones, which is a tier 5 building. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not tier 5. Yeah. I, I know I know it was, like, long ago, so I know it probably didn't stick, but that's one of the things I said was great about Nakai, is that Nakai doesn't need that tier 5 building to build Engines of the Gods. So, I can't make those. Well, you could recruit Sad. regular Stegodons, at least. Yeah. It's just... Feels bad, man. Because I had a goal for like 10 turns, and then I just found out that goal was unattainable. Yep. That's why I would never play a Lizardman in these campaigns, unless it's Nakai. Because their tech tree sucks. Your buildings are annoying. Uh, I would... I, I, I have the um, button to upgrade to tier 5. I just have not had the money for a long time if i if this was a different form of game where i was able to expand south earlier i might have been there by now but certainly not in this game i haven't had the resources um what was i asking i was gonna ask So the button to get to tier five, do you have? Do you already have the building chain started that were that you need to build engines of the gods? Yeah, I have the building that makes engine of the gods. I just missed that fine print at the bottom that says requires the tier five thing. And no, but I, I'm saying like that 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 tier five building. Do you have that building at tier four right now? Oh, the the tier five building yeah, the, doesn't have a thing below it. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna double check. Uh, one sec. Oh, it it does, That's... and I do. It's the upgrade from the Skink Oracle building, and yes, I have that building. Or ha yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's it would take uh five no seven turns to get to tier five, and then seven more turns to upgrade that building. So it would be fourteen <laughs> turns if yeah. I had the money to do it, which I don't. So it's just it's not gonna happen. Fucking lizardman man. So yeah, once uh once we take Carcassonne, I guess regular Stegodons it is. How's uh Quintex looking over there? Um I'm oh, nice, currently yeah. staying huddled <laughs> in there because I'll send you a picture because you can't see over here. As uh Marathi has respawned and is walking over. And I think I need to be with the garrison to fight her. Can you get peace with her yet or no? Uh, I will not. Let me see. Do not order oh, hold on. I have to unend my turn. I'm disinclined to listen, but I must. So speak with haste. I don't know if you necessarily want peace with her. Yeah, I don't know if I do, it. but I, I'm just looking to answer his question. Yeah, I, I couldn't give her that city there, Petrified Forest, and so I could get a peace treaty with her. And then if you didn't get a peace treaty with her, you could then attack the Petrified Forest and take it from her after I've given it to her. The only thing I'm worried about is that there's a lot of... Uh, how many cities... Does, does anyone know how many cities Marathi has left? She's got like at least six that I can see. 
One, two, three, four, Jenny, five, six, Jenny seven, Hawkman. eight minimum. There's eight, I see. Uh, okay. Yeah, she's on but if, if she goes up to the garrison and fights me there and then I win, then that's more money and I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Because if I, if I down her again and I don't have to worry about her for a second, then I can move out and take something okay. else. Okay, well, I, I'm going to make peace with her now and give her Petrified Forest, because if Got I it. don't, she'll probably just take that city by force next turn and I'll just lose it. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm just going to give it to her. She would pay me six grand for it. Oh, <laughs> I wish I was allowed to. Okay. See, I'm wondering, right now I find myself thinking, is it, does Mitch have a million things to do, yeah, or does he have a hundred things to do, but also his computer is a potato? Because it often is, like, lagging because of him, too. His army up here by Kemmler doesn't have a single anti-large anti-armor-piercing uh, unit in it. Which army? The one, it's, it's by Kemmler's uh, starting province. Just a little, just a little uh, southeast of uh, the sort of cane bubble. Yeah. Cloud. And, like, who whose army is it that doesn't have any armor-piercing? Space Goons. Okay. Oh, got, the, the army you've been armor... insulting repeatedly. Got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have, uh, he has armor piercing, he just doesn't have any anti-large armor piercing. Alright, Durthu, what's the plan? What is the plan, my man? Urson Revivalist. Heroic victory. Exactly what I'd like to see. Durthu attacked you? Was that your Oak of Ages? Yep. Very nice. And I inter oh, and I got an intercept on his other army. Let's go. I think that means Durthu is almost dead. Massive. Just putting banners on, sorry. Woodell's not having a good game. I'm remembering Orion dying to skinks. Oh, I just got like five grand from all that. That was awesome. Lewin wants to pay me for military access? Sure. The other team's gonna. Anyway. <laughs> other team's gonna kill him anyway. I'll sign whatever you want. You won't be able to live to cash it in. Oh, the Skaven from so so long ago. I see one dying of attrition in the Dark Elf area. Possibly running toward one of my things. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't think I can actually take Crown of the Punch. Hello! I'm announcing my arrival. Um, I would like to request that this separation thing is taking too long because we're getting to the point where we need to start telling each other when we're going to attack things because we have armies in them. Yep, that's fair. We were just sitting over here because it made strategizing a lot easier and no, like, obvious fights were about to occur. Yeah, no, I get it. <clears throat> we can reconvene now if you guys prefer. All right, guys. What? We we gotta go. We gotta go talk to the team. Okay. Hello. We're back. Uh -huh. Hello. Yellow. I would like to attack the Oak of Pages. That being said, my teammates attack. <laughs> uh. Alright, you can now attack the Oak of Ages. <laughs> Wait. I thought that was to give a chance for lords to leave, not to bring in and recruit a new one at the Oak. What? I'm just wanting to clarify, because that's what Jesse had said the intent of the rule was. Oh man, chat, we just talked about this like a minute ago. I'm asking. Uh, now I got... I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, and, and here's why it's hard. That rule was made before I had to deal with a faction that could suddenly pop armies up anywhere on the map. Um, and the only counter to your armies popping up generally is recruiting a lord in response. So He already had a lord in the city. He now recruited a second one outside is what I'm saying. 
Correct. I would like to I would like to point out that the the name of the rule is Defenders Initiative. Yeah, I I, I understand where you're both coming from, and frankly, I don't really have a straight answer for it because and I would like to not attack the Oak of Ages given that that thing because I didn't I, realize we could just recruit more. Yeah, I um I, I need a second to think about it. Like this is one of those things that I would have to like. Yeah, no, I know. I, I would have to ask players their their take on it and get some counsel from veteran well, so, players because so I, I, I don't. Question. I have a question. Let, let me let please let me finish talking okay, before you start yelling over me. Sorry. Um, I, I would, I would have to, I would have to get like a bunch of veteran players and ask them their two <laughs> cents on this situation because obviously the idea was that I wanted armies to be able to withdraw from a city and abandon it rather than get encircled. But this was before, uh, like the, the the rule was written before I had to deal with a faction that could just instantly spawn in your territory and the only real. The only counter, really, to dealing with this is recruiting lords or, or regiments of renown on the spot to deal with them. If if you can instantly spawn armies wherever you want, uh, it's weird for me to tell him that he can't. Does that make sense? Like, it, I I feel like telling Bomb just no, you can't recruit more units. Um, I I will say like, j just yeah. to you know put the shoe on the other foot for a second that one of them is spawning all over the map because of the faction that we forced him to play. And the other one is spawning stuff because of a home rule. So it's it's not that we're forced to do A, or because he does A, we're forced to do B. Like, we can just decide on something and then stick with it, whatever it is going to be. So I, I have a question. If... Uh um, that, does, that does not help me in the slice. If, 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 <laughs> if, 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 if I'm not allowed to recruit a second lord on the city after he declares does that mean i wouldn't also like you all, like does that mean that if i say I'm, i want to attack the city that that person wouldn't be allowed to recruit regiments of renown either uh like everything that means like everything would have to be done the turn beforehand right yeah th this does this opens a whole new can of worms where it's like if in a city if he's declaring an attack on a city then um you are not allowed to move other armies in range to defend it or well, actually, no, I mean, you have to be able to do that, though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, so, I, I don't, like, I, I, like, I'll be honest. I'll throw my hands up and say, you guys got me. I don't know what to do. You uh, if, once again found another loophole that I don't know if, how to deal with. If you deny me recruiting a second Lord Mitch, that means that the Empire wouldn't be able to recruit, like, Imperial State Troops. The Dwarves wouldn't be allowed to recruit Grudge Settlers. You, no one could recruit Regiments of Renown. Um, like, all of this would not be allowed if I can't just spawn a second Lord like I could spawn units. I mean... So my entire faction ability literally spawns a six stack of tier one units led by a lord without magic. Mm -hmm. That is half of the half of the main ability of my entire faction. If it is, I understand the idea of letting lords leave cities. I get that. Any garrison building in my entire faction ability is crushed already just by building a garrison. It's impossible for us to keep up with your faction's insane economy if we have to build garrisons as well. I will say though, given that I you're, do... you're making more money than like all three of us combined. <laughs> I agree with Muck's point though. Um, he, that's also no one's fault, but your own for telling him to play that faction. I don't know telling... if that's fully what Muck meant, but he is But if we're talking about factions... mechanics and one isn't an actual faction mechanic, one is just a role in the game thing and one is actually an in-game mechanic like that is like my that's faction the difference okay but is my like faction e not even allowed to spawn lords yeah i was like spawning a lord is a game mechanic <laughs> like telling him hey you can't recruit units is, is also or i can't um, i can't recruit regiments so, i honestly yeah, but... would agree with with bomb just being able to drop stuff there like anything you could do like in a turn before the attack in that city you should be i feel like you should be allowed to do as a defender so, yeah. so like that would include I, 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 spawning stuff in, like but just in that city and not like everywhere you know in, so like you can in, drop your regiments all that good stuff yeah i i i, I have like, to agree with space goon because in previous campaigns when people have said i'm attacking this city then other people respond by saying all right well i'm moving this other army over so like if he can't recruit lords can he not move armies either either to so, defend it fair fair lot i have a proposal um what sure. if if you like if we're if we're simulating if this was real right if you see mm -hmm. the army coming toward you like it walks in then you can spawn regiments and all that stuff 
but if he just drops it on you from basically stealth, you know, with his faction mechanic, uh, well, assuming he did the faction mechanic right there on it, then you're not allowed to respond to that because that that is the mechanic. Well, the the, the whole point of this so rule. So you want to make cults more powerful? So the the whole point of the rule was to prevent a I clicked first, therefore I win situation where people are encouraged to just quickly spawn things and click the other player before they can react. Because we're we're not playing StarCraft. It's supposed to be turn-based strategy. So I, I, I'm trying to avoid anything that hinges on I click you before you can do anything. Like, if that, if that, if that makes any sense. It, so it does. What, I just... What if, if it's uh, the instant in your face cult, you still have the option to leave? But if it's the... Um... The first scenario where he walks in with something, or even if it's a cult that spawned at a different city and then is walking over, then you're allowed to reinforce. I, I, I'm going to... I, I, I understand where everyone's coming from. Like, I, I get the argument. For sake of my own sanity and not having to make, like, a whole nother section of the rulebook three paragraphs long, I'm going to keep it consistent with the way that I've done it in previous campaigns, uh, which is... Once the attack has been declared, the defender can move or make whatever preparations they're going to. That includes hiring regiments of renown. Then this this, in, this also applies to, like, Mitch and his whole team, though. If we're attacking your city and you have the ability to instantly spawn something, regiments of renown, move in reinforcements, whatever, you can do all that. Then I would ask, with my cult specifically, do I have the option to go somewhere else? Because they are literally absolute crap tier six back armies. Are you, you mean cancel the attack that you just declared? Yes. Because if they you, are completely voided by him recruiting anything. Yes, if you declare an attack and then your opponent responds by scrambling units and now you realize, oh, I actually can't win this, then you can cancel and go somewhere else. Of okay. course, you're not, yeah, you're, not, you're not locked into making a suicidal attack. I wouldn't try to do that to you. That'd be stupid. Okay, I, I was just checking because I know that before when I had the mistake, that was also bomb. Just his point is once it's declared, it has to follow through. <coughs> I didn't say that first. I I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> that that's all right. We just got back into the same Discord channel with each other, and you're tearing this family apart. <laughs> it took only three seconds, and they destroyed everything I love. Are you winning, Buck? Ah, uh, I'm alive. I've got two pretty decent armies. Decent. Um, and one of the enemies, apparently this guy, PC Space, uh, apparently my teammates think I can just absolutely roll over him. Because uh, he has, okay. like, no armor piercing, and I've got armored dinosaurs. So, we'll see if I can catch that guy. We'll see. I refuse this insolence. I have a question, and it's related to a battle I'm doing against the AI. If, sure, what you got? I know if you are, uh, if you end a turn in Force March, you cannot retreat. If you end a turn in encamp stance, can you retreat if you desire? Yes, yes. you yeah. can retreat out of camping. Thank you. Uh, but note that if you retreat in camping stance, it does knock you out of camp stance, and, then you and therefore your health. Yeah, your heal will be canceled. Hello, ambusher. Yeah, wait, where is that happening? It's a very spooky toad. It's up in, it's up in Marathi's land. 